Are you excited? A little bit. <laughs> I know what I'm getting into. Excited where? <laughs> Somewhere from the spots. To the Are you still allowed to do dabs of like the chicken wings challenge? Those kind of dabs? Yeah, if you want to. Okay. Oh, we should do that. The hot ones challenge. I hit the left. Yeah. Do you have high blood pressure? No. Uh, I don't think. I I might. <laughs> but I'm still down. I'm still down. You have it? I don't know. I don't. I just, bro. Even if I go to the doctor, they don't tell me what's wrong with me. Like, ah, cabron. Yeah, it's bad. It's all bad. Yeah, damn it. Shout out to my doctor. <laughs> Who is your doctor? Seriously. So I can call my medical to switch for that one. But okay. there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure, sir? Because my heart feels very unusual. <laughs> Do you want to do an intro or just go in? Oh, shit. What happened? Oh, oh yeah. Shit's on vibrate or... Mine's on do not disturb. <laughs> My shit doesn't vibrate. My Yours shit doesn't, doesn't either, cover. Yours doesn't? Uh. You don't hit your knees and shit? Like... When you <laughs> Hands on my knees, hands on my knees. Cuando está pavo en el escudado, ahí te va. Sorry. Where the hoes? Where the oh? oh shit. Shit. <laughs> el otro lado de la relación. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Así oh, me dijo, güey. Así dijo. Por esta madre, güey. ¿Cuánto dura? No, it's just random. Man. Okay, wait. It's just shooting the shit, like in the shit. But we're just keeping it one topic or the two topics that you said. Because the second topic, wait, I don't want to get used to it. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> but what about the song about like the girl, like boy, you can stay home. I'm gonna take care of you. Just wash the dishes, do the, do the laundry. Like pros and cons of someone making a song like that. You know what? I got something to feed into that. That's something. Some people fucking dude. I I hate. Fucking rants and raves on fucking oh Imperial Valley. Gosh. I on hate Facebook. Yes. Oh fuck. Fuck um crappy drivers of fucking Imperial Valley. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I think we should talk on that shit too. Alright. So you make it to the Facebook I miss. Oh yeah. It's real cagadero. Bad traffic I guess. Bad traffic. <laughs> Wrong way. Wrong way. On the public dispatcher by some There you go. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It, it's it's kind of stupid because like I'm a member, but then like I think about like like being like what, how how do you say it? not a member or fucking just deleting it? Right. But then you're like bored sometimes. <laughs> it's kind of like TikTok way. Like it is, man. It, it makes the time go by. Uh, there. Talk. Oh, really? See? Yes, no. It stopped. Yeah, it stopped. Am I about to say elementary? T- I know it. Elementary test. All right, do like this on the other side. Do the other thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Beep. Beep. There you go. <laughs> Beep. I know. I stopped. Do you guys ever lie about it? Like you heard it, but you're like just like you I, wouldn't I, raise your hand. I really had good hearing because me gusta mucho los headphones. Loud uh-huh. music all the time. I I have a story of um my uncle. I don't know if it's true. I'm not gonna say who. <laughs> right. I don't know if it's true, but um, during a Vietnam um, War, right? Yeah. During the Vietnam War, right out of high school, fuck, you were getting drafted, no matter fucking what, you know. You had a choice. So you had to pass the fucking physical. So I guess one of them's a hearing test, mm-hmm. and here, you know, it says beep, beep. I just fucking kept getting louder and that it kept getting louder and louder and louder. And what you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. So they pretty much, you know, got out. Got out of you it. Got a pass. Yeah. What if it would have been like this? Hold on. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, it's funny because I have I have two uncles that went to Vietnam War. And it's funny because it's, it, I feel like it's the opposite. Right, it's all, all like, he's telling stories from, uh, from like, 
nieces and todos ahí en la familia que, que he encountered Sasquatch y no sé qué tanto, no, hombre, está cabrón este güey, si sí, balació toda la oh, What kind of weed was he smoking? <laughs> That's That's good, good, shit. Good, shit. Good, shit. So that was the total opposite of the vato de los dos tíos que se quería ir, güey. He did that fucking, fucking smoking that Vietnam fucking good. That's some good shit. I want to try that shit. See Sasquatch, güey? Definitely uh, makes your eyes chinky. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. Oh, funny. It's funny because no mames, güey. Like, it's it's funny because it's unbelievable. Right. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Well, like, but he took, he said it all the time. He's like seriously saying. It's the same story. Yeah, it's the same story. Way. Like, oh, shit. Like the encounter was, he thought it was real. Way, but I don't know. To be honest with you. Por qué? Well, look at it. They found aliens now. They, they exist and shit. Ya sé, güey. ¿Cómo pueden contar aliens que no están aquí y no existen? Pero no salen los Sasquatch que están aquí escondidos en los pinches buscadores. That's some bullshit, güey. I've seen them at least late, güey. Some people late. Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. The motherfucker comes out of the salt and sea. Yeah, what are you talking about? I don't know. That's a lockless monster. Oh, yeah. La chupacabra, güey. Look. Una chupacabra bien oscura. Oh, Len Morena. Oh, man. <laughs> what was the other one? Uh, pros and cons. Fucking barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce? Yeah. yeah. Barbecue sauce, cabrón. I guess I'm the, one of the best barbecue sauces. Where's? But, uh... I don't remember the ingredients because you're baked. It's too many. There's too many ingredients to put on a barbecue sauce. Too many. Well, one time it's funny because we had someone like actually give us ingredients. I don't know if you remember about their barbecue sauce. And then they're like, um, they like, like no vinegar, this and that. We, we change it up and blah, blah, blah. But one of the ingredients was barbecue sauce. <laughs> I was like, so you need barbecue sauce to make barbecue sauce. Well, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Like, okay. It's a lot of spices into it. Like. But sucks is like, you have, well, like, what to do average time? Okay, an hour, 30, 40, an hour, no más. Tirando, like, como 10 minutes, tirando penas. Yeah. Sass, paprika, pepper, the ketchup, the barbecue sauce. sauce. <laughs> barbecue sauce. A little bit of barbecue sauce. A little bit, just a little bit. You know, pa que sepa como, es como. Cagado, you, 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 like, yeah. right. Trust me, you, you've had barbecue sauce. Like, this is like crap. Like, honestly, some, in, yeah, my, yeah. in my experience, it's like, just like this is not barbecue. What the fuck? Like, what is this? Pasarra, like? yeah. wait. You have like a whole hour with pasarlo, wait. Y pa que te cago, que se haga mierda, wait. Cabrón, wait. I need my barbecue sauce to have a kick to it. Sure. You need to have a kick. Yeah. Spice. Good, really good. good spice. I I don't really care for the sweet shit. You know what I mean? I don't. You know, like, I know there's a lot of people that fucking love McDonald's fucking barbecue sauce. That shit's whack. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> a, I follow that category. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I like it if I had like a dope bell all the time. A little buzz. Everything, when you're fucking like, everything's good. Then again, Jack in the Box tacos seem bomb when you're like fucking two in the morning, wasted as shit. I see you put it. Barbecue sauce? Well, no, not the barbecue. <laughs> I'm just saying the tacos in general. It's like awesome. certain things taste better when you're drinking. Hell yeah. But all. But all the, the, on the good side, on barbecue sauce, when you, like it, you take your time and you sale bueno, yeah. you feel good about yourself. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, that's one good topic we could do. Like fucking barbecue. Yeah. Okay. I think we all have the same interests. Well, yeah. I believe it's neutral and people don't like sweet, but. Eat ribs, the barbecue sauce. It's good one. Yeah. I don't know. I think, yeah. You know what? Like I said, I do like a kick. But when it comes to ribs, I guess it does have to have a more of a sweet taste to me. I don't know. Uh, you know, but when it's like anything else, yeah. yeah chicken nuggets, and nah. No, I like the from. Antonio, shout out Antonio's. Oh, yeah. The, the habanero. Oh, okay. yeah. Mango mm-hmm. habanero, the chicken. Uh, I think you tried it, right? It's good. Yeah. I think that's the best one they have. I've, I've tried yeah. all of them the chipotle, the orange. teriyaki. Oh, yeah, yeah I tried the teriyaki el, too. The orange, that one. Orange, yeah. yeah. But, but hands down, I think um, I think the habanero is. Oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely my favorite. Definitely right? fire. Yeah. Como tu viste el chipotle, no está tan bueno. Nah. My girl tried it. Bought it. Yeah. Well, it's just the one that we had. 
<laughs> Let's go. It's still open. What time is it? Uh, nah, they, seven. they close. They close at seven or eight, no? Yeah. We'll go tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Good, Don't get me wrong. I'm not a really good. I'm a, not a sweet person. Like, I'm more into ice way. Yeah. Eat barbecue sauce. If it's that one, si me gusta mucho, and my girl buys it for me because I like it. It's that spicy devil spit barbecue. Oh, it's sounds interesting. Things. From um, famous days. Famous days. Yeah. That's really good. Mm. Yeah, we'll I haven't tried it yet. No, I don't think he said the award winning. I start off topic, but in a similar, yeah, it's still a food. Um, steaks. Do you have to put sauce on your steak? That all depends. Hmm. It depends if, it, if it's cooked right. Just put salt and pepper. It's a perfect good steak. It's not required. Honestly. Right. Yeah, I like like medium rare. Yes. And if it's like well done, I, w- I won't like it. Like, yeah. I don't know. But there's times when I like steak sauce. The A1, it's, a, it's I consider it like a marinade. It's a good fucking sauce with papachal and cosas, pero a mí me gusta, honestly. Yeah. It's a good, strong, I don't know what they put in it, but it's a good, strong marinade. And at the, like, there's times like, you know what? Yeah, I'll put, I'll put, a, I'll put sauce on the, on the steak. That went on. And there's a couple sauce. of different ones. One time I bought by accident because I didn't read the label. Uh, it's A1, but there's like a spicy one too. One of them? Yeah. Have you tried it? Those are right. I've seen them though. He sent Tabasco with these orcas. Sriracha or A1. No sé qué. Ah, hoy ya ponen puros. Cosas así. Yeah, they gentrified fucking A1 sauce. It's true. I was not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, you start eating and you, you start talking like a girl cover. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no more sauce. <laughs> yeah, but I, like I said, if it's if it's medium, I, I medium well. Not me, I mean medium rare. You know. I don't know. I have to I have to have that blood, man. It's not yeah, blood, it's juice. Yeah, juice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not con- when it's cooked. I yeah, see yeah. throwing off the grill. It's not considered blood. No more, so. yeah. yeah, and I've taught my daughter to eat it that way too because my wife. Well done. Well done. Well, it's just like to me, you take out the you take out the flavor and out of the fucking steak. And the thing is too is like I've, we've asked. I remember they were talking about it at work, you know, and they asked like three girls that worked there. They're like. How do you like your steak? Oh, well done. It's like, you're fucking up your steak. Yeah. You know? Definitely. You cannot eat a steak. Well done. Well done in cerdo, diles. Como no la vaca. Tiene que estar fresh. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, me personally, um, sometimes, you know, I, I think it just, it just depends on the type of steak, too. It all depends on the goddamn cook. Wait, these cooks don't know fucking. Yeah. Well, That's you true. Order a medium rare, te lo sacan medium well, well done. Like, that mentality the Mexican nah 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 well done yeah. cabrón, este. no me importa si se me anyway. este güey va a comérselo medium well well done yeah. the, only, the only thing I'll eat like well done um maybe is leftovers like leftover tri-tip but I'll do it with like a uh, omelet and I'll mix in different things with a tri-tip or I'll re- recook it and we'll say, say I say well done yeah, I say, well, but that's the only yeah. time I think I'll eat like well done that's true uh, even at work, with one time I would bring steaks. Oh yeah. I, mean, I would make a medium rare way. Llegan rojos, cabrones. But I'm like, fuck. I would put it in a microwave for like a good 45 minutes. Ya sale un medium rare este cabrón. Ya sale como like, it doesn't taste good. You know? It yeah. tastes good. Don't get me wrong with it. But I wanted it like uh, rare, but no. Yeah. Like, Cosa is medium rare. <laughs> what would you say the pros and cons of eating menudo, pozole, or caldo in the summertime? It's a must. For me, honestly. Really? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Like two days ago, I ate albondigas. Oh, shit. I ate yeah. albondigas, and my girl told me she's making chicken noodle soup. Homemade chicken noodle soup. Wow. Uh, 
I mean, I've been craving menudo. I'm not gonna. Lie. <laughs> I've been craving it, but like our kind of summers are like fucking brutal. Yeah. But uh, I mean, yeah. As long as I'm in, like, I don't have to be outside eating it, right? Like, <laughs> fuck that shit. Bad shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, like, like, what you bring for lunch today? Oh, you know, fucking, out there fucking working in the fucking working in construction. <laughs> oh, I brought a bowl of fucking pasale. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen a couple noodles out there, like just. <laughs> Yeah, dead ass summer. Yeah. 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 yeah, cause um, I don't know if you've seen those posts. I'm a victim of of caldo in the summer. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just and yeah, I don't. Me personally, yeah, man. Just. Or what about you guys? Uh, have ever? Have you guys ever had family that actually literally is stereotypes like they have hot sauce in their purse or shit like that? Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> Okay, so I was, I must have been about 12 years old, right? And, um, you know, we went to Sizzler. This was in India. I went to visit my tia. So she sees this, she's not fucking talking about it. But, uh, so, you know how they have the all you can eat shrimp, mm-hmm. right? They've had that shit forever. That shit's good. Right? I miss this. So <laughs> she asked the waiter for another plate of shrimp. She got a nap. <laughs> she, Fucking opened up her purse, put the napkin down, he sized. And oh, then it's just shit. like, and then like 10 minutes later, hey, can I get another one? He sized into her purse. And I was nice. just like, God damn it. I was like, Back then was there no cameras. <laughs> exactly. Did she go home and make some uh, or what the fuck? <laughs> I think she took it to her husband, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> was working. Work a job. Hard worker. Yeah, so uh, cool. it's, just, yeah. it's just those <laughs> stories that, and that, you know, you never forget. And I, yeah, I think we do follow. A lot of us fall into those stereotypes, like yeah. taking fucking candy into like the movie theaters, theaters yeah. Oh, yeah, or, or hiding like a family member when you went to the drive-in. Like, oh, remember that shit? Oh, and shit. then they started charging five bucks per person, per person? not for car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we hated a cousin or two. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, man, there's a there's a bunch of Mexican, Hispanic, Latino stereotypes when it comes to stuff like. Uh, how many? Yet. How many of you use your oven as? Um, Shut up, as storage. <laughs> That's why he said it. <laughs> oven as storage, or use a little light as a night light and shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Don't preheat the oven yet. Wait. <laughs> let me get my shit out. Let me get it out. Make sure everything's out. You know, I can look it down to see if everything's out. Yeah. yeah. But uh, That's for sure. <laughs> what are some other stereotypes, man? That that they definitely. I was like, yeah, that's true. What do Mexicans get some stereotypes? Yeah. No Germans doing that crap. <laughs> no, they, they, they hang their, their, oh, their no. dishes over the over the sink. Over the island. Over the island. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but um I got to different. Yeah. Yeah. For survival for for the need. What would you say the pros and cons of uh, cancel culture? Do you think there's any pros in cancel culture? Uh, no. It's just kind of like a, it's a phase, huh? It's kind of like, like, we're, like, they, like they don't talk about Kanye anymore, but I don't feel he's canceled. Uh, same thing with Dave Chappelle. They try to cancel him, but. You think Kanye's not canceled because he got cloned? Nah. You think Jamie Foxx got cloned? <laughs> Uh, nah, I just thought he lost a lot of weight. A lot yeah. of weight. First of all, do you guys believe in cloning? Yeah. I, I like Star Wars. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in the clones. <laughs> like, Clone Wars. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know, man, because sometimes I fucking look at Joe Biden, bro, and he does not fucking look real. No. Well, we just oh, listened geez. to Tupac and Nate Dogg earlier. Yeah. And it sounded like them. So we're like, yeah, he's a part of it. detox or he's not dead because he's like 2023. I remember <laughs> Elementary, fifth grade, way science. They yeah. say that was like you can clone animals. Oh yeah, uh, they had done like a goat. Was an example of a goat. Uh-huh. That'd be yeah. Cloning that. So. Yeah, I remember that too. And remember, it was a big um, uproar um, with religion because you know they were going to clone a baby. They were, they were in the process of doing that, and, wow. you know. So, um, I don't know. Sometimes maybe they do clone somebody just so that person can get out of the limelight you know 
and I've heard stories like, for example, um, Elvis Presley. You know, he didn't want that life anymore, mm. so they kind of like took him out, and you know, he lived under another alias. And yep. yeah, so. man, an artist, a man, a pop art, uh, Arvo Levine, están diciendo que se murió hace un chingo también. Arvo Levine, oh shit. Yeah, like in 2000, 2003, but some year like that, he said que se murió, he, he got a girl, someone replaced, like really, really identical, but God, clone right there, perfect. Joe Biden también, there's so many appearances, <laughs> <laughs> el no, pinchido, el right. la cara ahí, que está así. Like if you look at him five years ago, it's just like, like stuff doesn't, stuff doesn't match. I, I know, I know we changed throughout the years, yeah. but stuff doesn't match. And yeah, like, Connor Reeves just looks younger throughout the years. Yeah. Honestly, we lo ves el cabrón, no mames. Va a salir otra Matrix movie más joven, va a ser como 16 year old el cabrón haciendo movies. Fucking vampires, bro. Yeah. That's why. Well, what do you think of Elon and fucking what's his name? Facebook? Mark Zuckerberg? Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg. Hey. I'm telling you, man, they should put it on the table to where it's just like if I win, I take Twitter. Mm-hmm. And if I win, I take Facebook. Okay. I think they should they should fight for something, not for charity, not a la verga. Fight for fucking their social media platform. And the winner gets to see the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> no? Uh, I want to see the you know, prelims on that one. In a, <laughs> oh, in, a different t- in a different type of submarine? I see. Yeah. <laughs> but but uh I don't know about a UFC fight, but have them like It'd be cool to see them like on Mr. Beast, like it's like one of those like what was what was that big show on Netflix? The one that Mr. Beast uh, did, the one with the X's and the triangles. Oh, he he, he he mimicked um, Squid yeah, Games. They, they should do it a, a battle for, like Squid Games, like fucking. That'd be crazy to see. Yeah, something, man. But you know, but it would be fun. It would be interesting if they would go a battle, but without. Training a professional, I mean, just on their own, you just do it on their own. Do it on their own. Hey, what fucking Zuckerberg's fucking ripped, dude. Yeah, yeah, and it's just like, but you don't think it's surgery? It's maybe, clones. maybe, yeah, ah, <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, that was a good one. yeah, he does fucking look weird, though, huh? Yeah, yeah. 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 I've done drugs before, and trust me, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's horrible. Not, <laughs> wow, fuck, dude. That's that's no, it's it's otro otro Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but I don't know. Elon's got the chip on in his, in his back, right? His, his yeah, Tesla. Yeah. Okay. It's an autopilot. <laughs> I'm talking like buzz, buzz, light years. <laughs> Hey, literally yeah. to infinity and beyond, yeah. wait. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like Star Command, yeah. Star Command, the winner lives in Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You get a free flight to, on fucking SpaceX. <laughs> she well, free tour from the Red Earth. Oh, <laughs> to Mars, wow. Shit. Um, but yeah, man. I, but honestly, I would believe El Circuit for Solo Shit. Yeah. El de Facebook. ¿Por qué? Porque pues tiene más tiempo being rich, way. I believe he has more. Facebook has been on more way than like Elon. So, well, but Elon <laughs> trained though, like yeah, he, he did trained. like jujitsu and. So what do you mean? What do you mean by what do you mean by rich? Like what I makes what, what what makes their capability? Of- he's been in the business more years than Elon. That's how I feel. Because Facebook has been there since when? Two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. Eight. What I eat? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Twitter. Rest in oh. peace, MySpace. It, it was there before. It, yeah. it was before uh, MySpace. Way. It just wasn't to our attention. True. Because it started as a hardware uh, fucking website. That's right, huh? And then they switched over all that shit. And then I remember when we were on MySpace at the time because we were what, in our twenties. So, you know, they would say, "Oh, MySpace is for adults." And then, no, they told me the other way. They told me that MySpace was for the youngins because of the uh-huh. music and Facebook was for adults. And Facebook was for adults. And then... Oh, yeah. No, that's what I meant. Facebook. Yeah. Facebook and then it became uncool to be on MySpace. Right. It's a pinchy Tom. I think Tom would win. 
Both of them. Talk to him. Whoop both their ass. Yeah. He says, How many friends he's got? Like they all jump in. Yeah, where the fuck you at, Tom? <laughs> and he still looks the same too. him. Younger, I see. Oh, but he looks good. No, that's because he was cloned. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Oh, my God. Yeah. But, uh, nah, dude, it's just good, you know. But going back to the MySpace days, man, fuck. Dude, we were doing coding and... Oh, yeah, we were I'll, smart back then. Yeah, dude, like, it made you just, like... I remember, like, oh, shit, I want my page to do that. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna figure this shit out. Yeah. You know, it made you... Yep. Yeah, so... You would take dedicated time to oh, actually yeah. to edit figure, your page. To work your page. Yeah. yeah. And then motherfuckers be like, I'm, coming down to my, I'm, I'm not on your top eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't... Era drama, way. No, you yeah. knew when you were in trouble, like if you and your girl had problems and she was on your top eight. <laughs> All right. Yep. Or you guys weren't friends. Ooh, forget or no about shit. It. Or or your homies like you you've always been on your homies top eight and then all of a sudden you're gone, you're like, What the fuck did I do? Yeah. <laughs> Why am I here on the last one? I should be like the top four way. Hey, can I con la carne asada or hey, just, <laughs> is, it, is it only for your top seven now or <laughs> right? And then they, they switch it on to like top twelve or See? yeah, I think they they, they, oh, they moved shit. it up. If I can remember correctly, wow. but man, it's crazy how like we've evolved from that, you know, from MySpace to a fucking Facebook, um, you know, where they just spy on you. Oh, should I, did I say that? No, <laughs> they're hearing all right. Yeah, all but right. <laughs> but anyways, man, you know, it's just crazy how we evolved to where TikTok is at now, you know, and what are okay. the pros and cons on TikTok? Like when you need to kill time, like that's a good that's, way to do it. And that's like, do you think they did that intentionally? Like, this is why we call it TikTok, because because you're killing time and it's just you're you're TikToking away. Yeah, it's just TikTok. videos, entertainment. Tick, yeah. It's the new HBO. That's how I see it, TikTok. And I don't I don't have TikTok. I don't. But I'll just because I, I know I know there were some people kind of you know the younger people, the younger generation, they were kind of in an uproar that. They extended the time length on on TikTok, you know, because they don't have their, you know, the way their mind works. It does not work. You know, it's 30 seconds or less. You know what? Let's stay on this subject, but I'm going to flip it. Okay. All right. I had a coworker. I don't want to say the name, but um, they asked me about DJ and they're like, hey, how come you guys don't play the whole song? And I'm like... What do you mean? Like, yeah, I, I'll hear you guys start a song and then you, you mix in another song. Um, what if we want to hear the whole song? I was like, well, that doesn't happen anymore. They're like, why are the DJs? I was like, it's not the DJ's fault. Uh, the young generation, like, if, if you if you have any, like, nieces, nephews, grandchildren, go, go see what they're listening to right now. Ask them to play some music. They will not listen to the whole song. They'll listen to a little bit. Like, say when we're done DJing and they, they bring out the little speaker or whatever, they will not listen to the whole song. They'll play a little bit and they'll go to the next song. And then a little bit, go to the next song. So it's like, we're just fucking adapting to the time. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I didn't, you know what? I didn't even see it that way, bro. Because the only, the only genre that did that shit from day one was like house music. Oh, yeah. That they, they had like, each song was a minute or 30 seconds or an intro. Yeah. And then yeah. from there, it, it hip hop kind of started evolving into that too. Yeah, you know it's true. Like when you talk about house music, because I mean, back then you throw in the CD, you know, just throw the whole fucking thing, and it's just like, and it does not all sound the same. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyways, by the time you know it, you don't even realize you're already on track 15. Uh, yeah. You know, it's just. Like, damn, there's like fucking 88 tracks. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, you're on 62. Wow. The latest they set. Yeah, so, yeah, it, it, it comes down. I think, mean, yeah, you're right. It comes back down to att- attention span. You know, people don't want to see, they'd rather see, you know, clips. You know, they'd rather see shorts. That's, they will yeah. well, they're on the go, too. I mean, like, kids will be at school looking at this shit, so they don't got time to listen to a whole hour of music. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, everyone else, that's how big they were. They Everyone else had to adapt to that. But uh, did TikTok really do that, or was Snapchat first? 
If you remember, Snapchat was a lot different when it first came out, too. Yeah. I said that 10 seconds. Yeah. That was it. Now it's like, what, a minute? I, I, I didn't know. do it long. Yeah. yeah. Huh, good question. I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, man, you know. But I see TikTok, it's just entertaining. Like that, I think, I think too, you know. Mr. You, York, because you know how <laughs> it keeps you up till three, four in the morning. Come on, that's how yeah. that's how hooked you on on that crap. You know, and they talk about you know they've been they were trying to ban it here because it's a Chinese app, right? Dude, there's so many fucking Chinese apps on our phone. You know that there's so many things that was made in China. I was like, uh. I don't know how that's going to work if my phone's a Samsung and it's like <laughs> made, in China. made in China. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure they had to bail out iPhone at one point, too. So right. they're technically, I don't know. My whole it phone was made out of China. Guys. Yeah, so so then yeah. banning banning TikTok, you know, um, well, that's the I, think, I think what it is, man, to be honest with you, is just you open TikTok. You have access to the whole world in the palm of your hand. That's because, true. Because people are showing you videos that maybe the fucking government doesn't want you to see. True. They can't control it. They can't yeah. control it. You know? That makes a lot of sense. You know, so I see it's just like, you know, we've always said the news is going to, they're going to put out there what they want you to see. Right? So you go to TikTok and somebody says, Oh, that's not happening there. That's happening here. You know, oh, that explosion wasn't there. This is here. And, you know, and they're showing you live feed. It's just like, so I think I think that's mainly where where they're wanting to ban Because they can't filter what they show. Us. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. Certain areas in the world, yeah. very different. But oh, yeah. I mean, I guess the only alternative before was getting like a, a VPN. So you can kind of like hide your your address, but now it's kind of like it's in your face. Yeah. Because even YouTube, we can't see certain YouTubes unless you have like a VPN. Yeah. Or even Netflix, dude. There's all kinds of shit on Netflix that you can watch, but um, it's all decoded. It's crazy. Yeah. Even the states. Yeah, we look like we're unstoppable. Like, like nothing's ever gonna happen to us. At the other side of the world, we yeah, it's a whole different ball. Game. Yeah, there's so much shit going on right now, man. And uh, it's just like, at the end of the day, you don't even know what the fuck to believe. So it's just like, yeah, but um, yeah, it is what it is, man. But um, and I think TikTok has elevated a lot of, a lot of, you know, people to success. It does because it attracts you. It, Brings you in, yeah, honestly, so. because you you no tengo. Honestly, you try to try see on Instagram, he sale un link as he TikTok. I'm like, fuck, I want to see it because my cousin sent it to me. Pretty yeah. sure it's funny. Right. You block it. Next thing you know, you're on fucking TikTok. I didn't even know I had an account as TikTok. See, I Irving, <laughs> almost six, eight numbers away. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, I didn't never signed up for anything like this. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's impossible. Oh yeah, like I seen on Instagram too. Like just randomly, I had like another account. And I'm like, what? But like maybe I was hacked or but it says zero followers or following zero. I'm like, but I I never I never made a another account. It's, Counts it's active, true. right? Yeah, so it leads to a lot of things on the other side. Yeah. You know, can you get us out? Let's go. I think um yeah, Instagram man has just been. I got tired of Instagram. You know, I haven't posted really anything in a long time. Yeah. If I post something, you know, is. It's very rare now because I feel like it's just, but now that, for example, I don't post, you know, it was weird, man. I was going from like 40, 50 likes and then down to five, down to three. Oh, you only got like, you know, 20 views. Yeah. It's just like, it just doesn't make sense. Oh, no. I know? found that out really quick when I got the website because the, the algorithm on Facebook said, oh, you got like a thousand views. And I would go to the website because it was connected. And it's like, oh, no, you only got like 20 views. Like, So how is it that Facebook is saying I'm getting more views, but the website, they didn't click on it. 
it says it's only 20 views. It's like, so we're really not paying. It's just like another good example is Amazon Prime. Everyone pays for it, but realistically, uh, you're paying the same no matter what. Like if, it, if, it's, if it's free because um, they charge you for the shipping and all this other shit. And when you have Prime, all, all the difference is, is they don't let you unclick like regular delivery. So you're still paying what you would have paid. I already tried it. Trust me. I already tried it. It drove really? me crazy. It drove me nuts. Like say, I don't want two, three day shipping. Like I just, it gets here when it gets here. You don't have that option on Amazon Prime. Like it comes and everything's already included. So it's like, you're still paying the same amount, whether you, you're paying monthly or not. And I think it sucks for people here where we're at in the Imperial Valley. You know, especially if you are paying for Prime, which I'm one of them also. And I, I never really paid attention to that, yeah. you know, because I think what it is, is just I just hit buy instead of, you know, put it in my cart. I was like, oh, I need that. Buy. And they're just like, all right. Cool. Yeah. You know, I don't. I mean, so but I think um, it sucks for us that, you know, for everybody that lives in the Imperial Valley and does pay pay for Prime. You know, we don't have a warehouse in our area. Yep. We're not going to get anything the same day or even the next day. So I think, yeah, we're getting chipped. Yeah, that's <laughs> smart about it. Mejor, you know? The, yeah. Lo que es así, because my girl bought a una cabecera. Mm. Amazon. Se lo fregaron por 60 bucks they shipping them. Damn. I get it. Yeah, I'll pay that. But if you're paying for Amazon Prime, I'm guessing you would pay less or no? Well, I mean, after a year, like I said, if she's not a frequent buyer, uh-uh. then then it, uh, it comes out the same. Hey, why are you even wasting money? It's like saying Apple Music, I mean, or Pandora. The Pandora, you get songs. It might be not new music, fresh music, but you say like two weeks, ya pasa. Una song or two Que está fresh En vez de Yeah I really don't like Paying a lot way for, for little things like that But you know what I'm Yeah I would It's No sé It's just companies We get to get Yeah You know It's, it's funny Because When you say Companies get to get Enfregar It's true Everything now Is like A subscription hey. You know it's not like, for example, now, you know, talking on Serato, DJ, oh, shit. you know, <laughs> that's scary. It is scary. Yeah. You know, let's say, let's say now, you know, because, all right, you know, I was like, before it was like one time buy and you have it. Yeah. That's me. Same here. Yeah. I so like one thirty. To have the program unlimited, everything. Right. And now it's like, is that going to change to where it's like, okay, all time. you do not have, um, you know, a Pioneer controller. You're, you know, okay, like me, I'm using Rain. And it's okay. So, um, yeah, that that whole thing is out the window now. Now you have to pay a subscription monthly. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, is it? Is behind closed doors. This is this what they were talking about, and just you know, we need to make more money because you know. And I believe so. It gets it, popular. And everything it's to a point like you have to do it. Yeah, it's like you have to have a subscription. Yeah. You know, that's the only way to make money, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, because yo tenía, I remember it. se llamaba. Any, it se llamaba, it's, it's like a sport broadcasting. It's an internet provider, internet streaming. Channels. They have NFL HD, NBA HD, MLB HD. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. You only pay like 70 or 80 bucks. And you can watch the whole, every game, every game stream, internet stream. Pirateria. Andale. <laughs> Seriously. Right. Pero First it was sports, legit. Right. <laughs> First row sports, remember that shit? Yeah, but it was legit. And I would yeah. I would buy it, honestly. See you know the Yeah, we see it at work. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the basketball game. I will buy. I would. I will buy an NBA HD. Say, I'm It was like fifty or sixty bucks a month, but you would see the whole season plus playoffs and finals, yeah. plus extra yeah. channels. Like, like literally legit Cartoon Network, 
era Fox Sports. It was legal, yeah. licensed. Todo era licensed. And now it's like, no, the price is double. No, I yeah, oh, I got shit. an email. You see, no, it's NFL. You can watch the whole NFL package, but it's like a hundred bucks now. It's crazy because what what did it was Netflix. Like back then, like when Netflix first came out, you had to mail it in, mail it back, and people were like, "This shit ain't gonna work." Think unemployment, Aki. They're like, "No, I'd rather just go to Blockbuster and fucking just look at the thing." And then who would have thought? Like in the end, the video two thousand streaming was the way to go. Five movies, five bucks. <laughs> I, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It's like what's that old school, that old school song? Uh, video killed the radio song. Remember? Oh. It's just the same shit, dude. It's just like streaming service killed the fucking. You know, yeah. it's true, dude. Video it, killed it, the radio. You know, and, yeah. and that's why that's why they say actors actors are on strike right now. You know, and and remember writers were on strike because it's just like. They're all cloned. How, how do you? They're all cloned. <laughs> they're all cloned. <laughs> hey, it's Hollywood, right? Uh, <laughs> um, how do you? Um, how do you control those streams? How are, is everybody? You know, yeah. When it goes to the box office, damn, it made fifteen million this weekend. You know, okay, cool. You know, you know, when it comes down to residuals and you know yeah. all that stuff, you know, it's. Well, now, well, now it's like, how are you, you going to count, count streams? See? You know, and that's what they should be doing. Why would the people on top that have so much technology of uh, video or broadcasting or filming, why would they let it all out knowing that so you tell all the audience or the people to make it easier for them to do it, to copy it? I mean, Dennis, why yeah. do they do that? Now that everybody's doing it. You know what it also killed? Streaming. And this is like, I never thought about it till right now. All like the pirated movies that they used to sell like at the Lion and Max. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't see that anymore. I used to go to my taco guy yeah. right there in LA. And then his the homie, would pull, <laughs> homie would pull up with the, you know, open the trunk. You know what I mean? It's just fucking bootlegs, oh. bro. Yeah. I don't see bootleggers no more. Oh man. Because everything's coding, you can you have access for the internet. Internet does everything. It's, 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 it's an internet browser. Todo, todo ta, it's accessible. Man. You'll find a way. Every, you find a way to. Yeah, do remember, it. remember Pirate Bay? Oh, yeah. yeah that dude. shit was big. Man, I, <laughs> I knew what he was going to say. Never mind. <laughs> no Cochino. Ah, no, that's that. That. Dude, I used to get so many plugins, bro, to when I was making beats. Sure, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did it. I'll fucking say it. Fuck that lava, Totally. Voy a tirar el agua. You did, you did what? Bay. Jedi with Pirate Bay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I remember getting like... When I first started, like, DJing, that's where I would get, like, some of my music. Because, um, like, you're going into, like, a 70s or 60s. I did a 50s party, and I'm like, I don't fucking music. Like, and to go to YouTube and try to learn it all, I was like, fuck that. Yeah. So I, I went, and I got a folder, and it was just, like, 100 top of the 50s, 100 top of the 60s. And yeah, no. Pirate Bay would come in. Speaking, pretty, pretty on, speaking on that, and, you know, us being DJs. Dude, is there is there record pools, bro, for for like fifties and you know sixties? Mm, very little, very very little. But you gotta think, like, like they traveled with the same songs like for years because uh, they didn't have access to the internet. So by the time like the song went gold, it's like they really had to travel like for people to hear it just on the radio and on the Tonight Show and all that shit. Like it was it was harder because. To, to the reach, I guess. Now it's like you can be famous for like a week or two, and then you know get like a million views and shit. Yeah. There's, it's it's all oversaturated. But well, back then, it's like may, maybe they didn't make as much music. Speaking of that, you know, I mean, they say, um, what is it? Is um, Spotify is the one that really fucks you? Like, how? As far as like, if you have like a million streams, uh -huh. like, dude, you're not seeing really any money off of that. Oh shit! Yeah. So yeah. no conviene to put your music on there. Or? I mean, to get publicity. Wait, yeah. aren't we on there? Yeah, ah, yeah. No, take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Stop um, listening. No, I'm just yeah. 
Um, but you know, yeah, they're, they're saying that you know these artists need to get paid, man. Yeah, and, and it's true. You know, you, you're putting your music out there. Well, now I see a trend of like people selling their catalogs. Like they're like, oh, it's not gonna be worth nothing because AI came in and it's pretty much gonna make the money. When I was like, there's no way you can mimic that good of an artist, but I was proven wrong. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was proven wrong. <laughs> Damn, AI is just another topic, yes. bro. That is just we need to jump on that. Fucking AI is a beast. Why yeah. would you let that technology go to that form? Yeah. Okay. You know, and I was talking to you know IT guy at work, and he was saying that it could be controlled, and it it will be controlled. Mm. Like, he, he doesn't see it going fucking haywire. And further, I see. I think us, we do see it going that way. Um, mm. And he was telling me a story that they got an AI robot and pretty much told AI, go look for a job. All right? Go make money. So AI on the internet trying to find ways to make money. All right. AI needs to open a bank account. All right? To have that money. Yeah. Yeah. So... They ended up a bump in the road, of course, because every time you do stuff like that, what does it ask you? Ask you for a catch up, right? You know, I mean, how many fucking signal lights? How, you know, how many crosswalks? How many bicycles do you see? I am not a robot. I am not a robot. You know, so they're saying that AI, what AI did was actually try to get a hold of somebody and, like, you know, you know how the fucking AI chat popped up on Snap? Yeah, and an actual voice. Somebody yeah, saying yes. Hey, yeah. I need help. You know, and you know, accessing this website. This is are you a bot? Are you, you know, we all have questions, right? Yeah. And it says, No, what it is is that um, I have trouble with my vision. The AI robot lied. Is li- <laughs> lied. You know, so if that doesn't it has a human trait, yeah. If that doesn't if that doesn't scare you, you know, it's Not sad. It, yeah, it's wow. it's straight mimicking a human. You yeah. know, I thought that straight. corruption. It's yeah, so, dude, it's uh, you know, you see it in our own backyard. You know, people getting phone calls. Oh know, yeah, you know, I've seen that. Yeah, for, I've seen that. You know, oh, we have we have so and so hostage. Yep. You know and. It's just it's it's just a crazy and same thing. He's like you're a student at a university. And your professor's like, hey, I need you to write me a paragraph. Hey, hey, hey write that shit for me. Yeah, you write know, me that essay. No, it's I. just like, are we going into the next twenty years? Are we going into being smarter? Or are these kids being dumber? It all depends because the system that they have the schools now is being dumber. <laughs> Damn. Dude, my kids don't get homework. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like, how? Yeah, you go to like, casa, all right, you guys have homework now. We don't have any homework. I already did it in class. What? Yeah, sometimes the teachers will deal with them in teachers, class. Yeah. That's, yeah. They, te- it, they it, teach you how to be just a simple worker. That's how the school school system works well yeah this, you're right the school system is, is it just is teaches to, you to be, to be a, a worker fucking peasant to work for someone else it's a it's a system that that was created for us to be pretty much a slave to society yep so it's like if you see the real successful people it's kind of like they thought outside the box exactly and technology like this devices like this it's a plus plus for them you know, there's a lot of billionaires that never went to school. Yeah. You know? And it's just like... Well, that's how it is. If you, the worker, and say, let's say your dream car is a Ferrari. Right? You keep dreaming. <laughs> Pretty much. It's just, oh, one day, if I keep working hard enough, mm. working hard enough, I'll have that car. While the owner is saying that does have that car is saying keep working for me 
and I'll have a new one next year. Yeah. You know? And it's just, it's true, man. It's just, you know. You got to that point right there, but look at this. Mira. Ah, tú, 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 batallaste todos estos años. Yo, mira, ni batallar, mira, acá, sacar esto, mira, que acá, que tú no puedes hacer otros 15, 20 años. Yeah. You know, and sometimes, sometimes, you know, I don't know if you've ever done it, but like, all right. Let's say, let's say, you know, you want some J's, right? Yeah. Some Jordans. All right. You go to the store and you're like, Damn, that's 150 bucks or 130 bucks. At least 200 Damn. for Jordan's cover. That was <laughs> that was a, a eight hour day at work yeah. that I just spent. You know what I mean? And not even not even going to shoes. Just the simple fact of how inflation is and going to food. For real. You know, it's just like you go to Walmart and you got oh, ten fuck, things in yeah. your cart and it's ninety eight dollars. You're like, how the fuck? I don't think I've spent less than a hundred bucks every time I go to Walmart. And right? I, and sometimes I just go for milk. Anywhere you go now, milk and labor. Yeah. It's Basically, like, going to San Diego and back with just for a doctor's appointment. Not even buying food or anything. Just you know, you, that's just to launch it, cabrón. No más. Yeah, but that's like that was eighty, ninety, hundred bucks. Right? Pure, Pura bota, cabrón. Yeah. Pure gas. I thought he said mota. Then it's worth it. Para qué? Para el para que te agarren ahí el perrito ese del chico. Guau, what? El guau que se llama Bart. Like what? You remember? You remember Bart? From a gruff? Remember Toby? They make they make your life so impossible now. Did you guys hear about that? President, former president Barack Obama, personal chef, he got drowned, no, a hundred feet from his beach house. No, what? I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that either. Yeah. Wow. I saw it yesterday, just recently. It's a personal chef. I say, I don't think somebody drowned him. Somebody killed his ass. Like, honestly, yeah. like. But it, it's a pattern, decent from back to presidents. Que también el, el, it happened the same thing too. President of Clinton, anyway. His, his um, good chef, yeah. Right. So, wow. There's a lot of. Yeah. Fue un robot que lo mató. Un robot. Un robot que lo mató. Pinche AI. Andale. Yeah. John Connor, he came back. He's <laughs> fucking like, it's a robot, Tron. It fue el Busmith. What's that movie? I, um, I robot, right? I robot. That's a cabrón. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like I said, you know, when it comes to shit like that, I just. Okay, he's I robot. He salió blanco el pinche robot. Y todos son negros, cabrón. What? <laughs> yeah, you know, this movie está todo blanco. ¿Por qué no sale un robot acá bien tucked out acá, güey? Algo bien chido. Tuck life. Tuck life. Por pinche cholo. Sí, güey, algo así, güey. ¿Por qué tiene que ser uno bien acá, bien. Blanco, professional, you are about. Why can't they put hair or something? Be like, hi, my name is Carlos, but you can call me Creeper. That's it, man. Who fools got wild, a bitch, a paisano, a robot, bien paseno, a cow, a skateboard. When he said robots got wild, I thought of something else. Robots got wild. On the bus and shit, like, party bus. What do you guys think of, um... Imagine fucking AI right now on the party line. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, I think you're cute. <laughs> oh shit! We're gonna meet up at McDonald's. We're fucking oh. the party line, bro. Wow. Do you remember the party line? Oh, I just remember just fucking talking shit on there, dude. That shit was Entering fun. room one. Ding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ten people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where the fuck you from, Mr. Yeah. What are you wearing? What are you? What was that age, sex, and what? Something else. <laughs> What's your ASL? Yeah. Yeah. What was age, sex, um, Limit. <laughs> <laughs> What's your limit? <laughs> What's your money limit. Oh, shit. That's nostalgic right there, bro. Woo. Like your party line. Oh, shit's funny. Hey, what are you gonna do in your home? I just chill, get on the P line. She weak and I ain't gonna pack. Our version of technology was Star 69. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I can find out who called hey, me, who prank called me right call now. Call that motherfucker back, but block him. Fucking Star 87. <laughs> 87 yeah. 
He won't know it's you. Eh? Yeah. Next season. Fuck, dude. It was uh, information four one one. Yeah. Yeah. One. What are you putting? Five one one, six one one, seven one one. Go for traffic. Keep by all the calls. Weather information. Oh, I see it on the freeways. Oh shit! I never pay attention. I never even go to speed limit. So I don't care. He said, "I just drive." I just drive. I just focus on the road. Yeah. So, yeah, man. What do you think this whole Ice Cube situation, man? Oh shit! The big three. Yeah. Well, it's because he didn't want to get the, you know, yeah, want to get jabbed. Do you think it's it's all referring back to that though? Yeah. You think that's what? Then that, they just don't want to see uh, him in particular like get big off of basketball. Like they don't want the NBA to have. The they don't want an African American to see more than it is kind of. Yeah. Lost the. Oh, was it? There. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, I don't know why, but yours fixed and mine got worse. That's in there you go. If you're, you're done with. Yeah, you're sure? Uh, I'm good now. Um, yeah, dude, I think, I think, um, you know, and it's just like, people are like, oh, well, it's the NBA that doesn't want to see him succeed. And, yep. You know, and it's just like, these are retired players. They're not even, and this is not even during the season of, of, um, Basketball. Of basketball, yeah, it's yeah. okay. You got the you, okay. You got the basketball summer league, right? Which is cool, but nobody's watching that. I rather see. I rather see three on three. You know, oh, yeah. some, some veterans. veterans. You know, yeah. Joe Johnson, yeah. some some good players. Yeah. yeah. So arenas. Somebody had a former All Star that you used to see on a literally TNT. Yeah. yeah. So me, me personally, points. I'm I'm a big fan of the big three. You know, I, I I've always liked it. You know, so. But um, yeah, man, and I think, I think he's, I don't know, man. I'm kind of scared for him, bro. I am, you know, because he's no, he's no, making no. a lot of noise. Yeah, well, he could do kind of like what MTV used to do, He'd go another route, like the celebrity. Fucking, there's a lot of fucking good. There's good ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Go that way. I I just think this he, like they they close the they close the window on him, but he could, he should still go through another door. Like, yeah, he's gonna and, go around. Gotta gotta put on his shoes, stop being like he's tired. He's tired of seeing all this. Yeah. And look at as a young boy, I don't know. Have you seen straight out of Compton or yeah. his his, uh, his background? You pens okay, yeah, yeah, that's foul. He's to a point like he doesn't care. Yeah. And then he he just did an interview with Tucker Carlson, yeah. you know, which is you know, one of the biggest Republicans ever. You know, so it's just like, you know, I think, yeah, man, I just, I don't know, man, I just hope. Pray for him. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pray you for know. him. Because, you know. All this world works. Yeah, you got to pray for him yeah. because the world does not want you to succeed. Like you exposing you the truth, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. And he does whatever, he, knowing Ice Cube with for years, like he's always exposed. Yeah. All kinds he's always been, of he's always gone against the grain. Always going to the grain. Yeah. So, but yeah, Big Three. I love Big Three. Uh, Wait, we, that's what I watch with because honestly, we, I don't like baseball with. I don't. Oh, yeah, the the whole fucking early. summer we watching baseball with. I rather but if you're there, you're, you're cool, right? If you go to oh, a game, he, he yeah. fell asleep. No, I fell no, asleep. Just wait. Really? It's the boring sport for me. Yeah, he'd rather watch tennis, he said. Yeah. Tennis is active. At least you see an athlete working her. <laughs> working her what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Serena whoa. Williams. There you go. <laughs> see, they're actually moving. They're actually doing this. And he said, I'm like, I'm like this. They're... <laughs> But you're still watching them in slow motion. <laughs> Before still then, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> oh, baseball come on, it's just one pitch. Wait. If you strike him out or he, the catcher caught him, that's another minute. Wait. Like, throw the bat and you're just like, 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 I'm sorry. Like, yeah, baseball is to other people. It's a, it's a good sport for other people, but it's not for me, wait, honestly. Right. Okay. I don't get me wrong. Wait. 
Baseball is a sport, man. Because baseball is, you know, it's, it's always a known as sport. American's pastime. I'd rather play it. America's pastime. See, si. right. I'd rather play it than to watch it easily. Okay, would you rather watch it like when back in the day when everybody was on steroids? No. I think it was more exciting back then. Not even. Yeah. It's the same thing. Nah. Between uh, Barry Bonds yes. and, and um, McGuire. Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. Yeah, and yeah that was a shit. Like Watching that. those games, yeah. Yeah, that was be, exciting for me. Not it was exciting, exciting for me because you know every time you'll be on the plate, you know it's gonna blow out. You know he's. It's the same. It's the. It's just the sport way. I rather play it. The people. It's fun if you're yeah. playing it. Way. Honestly, way. That's for me, way. Because you. I feel like that's every sport. It's more fun when you're playing. But yeah. see, yeah, of course. Way. But uh, watching it, I rather watch. Like I said, a tennis match. I I'd rather watch. <laughs> I was like I'd rather watch cops. <laughs> oh shit, that's my cousin. That's my yeah. hey, what's <laughs> if that's the case, I'd rather watch Kitchen Nightmares. I like. Oh, I, ra- yeah. I, I like restaurant food. I'd rather see that. Wait, honestly, we. Oh, Un episode con un pinche owner que no sabe lo que está haciendo, we. Or bar el, rescue. Y el Ramsey le está, estás bien pendejo, we. No sabe lo que está haciendo, we. El vato es so in denial. He's so fucking in denial. Like, no, well, well fuck you. We. No sé qué. This is my business. Like, you don't know how to run it, you idiot. I can't wait. That's actually funner, we. And I'm actually like this way, watching my popcorn like that, then fucking <laughs> being, the, watching the Dodgers blowing out the fucking Marlins nine to one in the bottom of the sixth way. No, Charlie, wait, let that, let, it's for me. It's just my opinion, wait, honestly. Gotcha. Boxing's better, UFC's better. It's more action into it. Oh yeah. Soccer is more, at least you're like this way. Cause that's what they used to say, you know, baseball was America's pastime. Yeah. It wasn't meant to be fast, but then, you know, they're trying to make it faster. But why are with, they with getting the, paid millions? Like, I get it. Wait. But then why that, is that, it? That, that falls on every sport, then. Oh, so Z. I don't know. What do you think? A baseball player get paid more than a UFC fighter? I don't think so. I don't think baseball should be. Due to the circumstances of, of getting getting fucking chingasos to the head. Because you'll get brain damage, right? Like, yeah. But in baseball, you're risking your life. I know. Yeah. Baseball, I mean, you're risking your life too, it. Because what if you have bad shot, day yeah. and yakas, But what are the odds of that? Right, right. Honestly, I mean, that kind of makes sense to me. Like, why does that one make way more than Because yeah. it's baseball's year round. Right? The league is 80 games, right? Like, Todo año. Eight, get eight, ten months. The only thing I, I only like about baseball is just playoffs. Like, see, the playoffs, because that's when you, like, it's en gran uno, pues. I so see. But why do they make it so expensive? Why does it make it so impossible to you go watch a fucking baseball game? Like, I remember you and Ellen mentioning the futures would make them go watch a baseball game. Can you go right now as sixth graders, all sixth graders, let's go watch an MLB baseball game. You think they would have enough those fundraisers to go watch a baseball game? No. What do they do? Don't get me started on school, like taking out music and fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm Because it's, <laughs> let's just be reasonable, we like let I thought yeah, let them be, get paid millions, we pero no como hundreds of it. Honestly, we you see about just a I don't know, yo que soy base, uh, basketball fan because basketball is, is más stamina, it's más sacar para allá, para allá, para allá. The only break you got is when you somebody gets fouled or somebody gets two free throws. Yeah. It's less players. Less time. Shot clock. You mean this? Oh, Anyways. baseball has one now. They have a shot clock? They have, well, a, they have, they have a, a timing for, like, to throw your pitch now. Time to throw your pitch. How much is it? Um, 25 seconds? You could, only, <laughs> you could only step out of the batter's box once. And then after that, and uh, I think it's once. After that, you have to stay in the batter's box the whole time. See, we're, they're it's trying to, to make it more. They're trying to make it faster. Yeah. Why? Because people's attention spans. Right. You know, Hasta on the yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah, they're they're trying to make the faster. Let's go make a big three of fucking baseball. baseball way. Because of well, there there is one. Yeah, it's, Mario Party. Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, I don't know if you've seen it on YouTube, but it's like uh wiffle ball. Oh yeah. Three players. It no. looks dope, really fun. Do you mean this wiffle ball? It has to be mass. Yeah. If you're gonna get paid means cabron, make it worth while Yeah. Y luego salen que positivo para esto como el tatis. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. 
¿Sí me entiendes? Cabrones. Like, oh, dude, you're getting paid millions. You fucking bust your ass for fucking doing those millions, bro. That's true. Honestly, we. Morita, como Jalen Brown. You know what Jalen Brown is? That fool got the most. Most paid contract ever, wait. What was it like? At 300 something million, wait. Contract, wait. Max and Station, though. Uh, Fuck. And he's not even the best player from the Celtics. Honestly, wait. JT is. How is that even possible? Uh, a lot of millions. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe we should get some agent on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, explain to us. Yeah. Explain to it. Bananas, yeah. apples and bananas. Dime qué está pasando ahí. <laughs> Porque yo no soy chango, yo no explico banana language. <laughs> Speaking of bananas, um, there's a baseball team that's called the Savannah Bananas, right? Oh, in Africa. Uh, can, uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. God. No, they're in Savannah, Georgia. Oh, no. okay. Georgia from the uh, Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, there's actually, I don't know if the documentary was on Netflix. A team called Bananas? Yeah, it's called Savannah Bananas, right? So, Savannah, Georgia, I guess it was um, it's a college team, baseball team, okay. right? So, this guy was going to go pro, and he ended up, I don't know, he was a pitcher. I think he has ended up messing up his rotator cup. Whatever the case was, and that's it. His, his career is done. But he didn't want to leave the game of baseball, right? So he bought this ballpark that, you know, used to be a college, a college AI team. AI and they, <laughs> they no, bench warmers, I guess. It, it, it used to be a college team, and that team left. And so this pretty much baseball park was abandoned, right? Pretty much they were going to lose everything because he invested all, it was like millions of dollars into this ballpark. And so, uh, so from there, I guess, I don't know how it was that he brought a college team back. They ended up winning a championship. So I was like, okay, cool. He, he's got something, right? But he noticed in the, in the stands that, yeah, by the eighth inning, people were just leaving, you know? He, and his thing was like, how can I get these people to stay? Right? Free beer. So, so uh, corn dogs, Jackie. Yeah, so <laughs> corn dogs. Like, <laughs> so he created the Savannah Bananas. Oh my god! Right, and the Savannah Bananas, they're a crazy ass baseball team. So they actually have like um, Zito. They used to play for Giants. The Giants, you know, they have they have ex um, MLB players like in the big team. Three, but so, but dude, they'll have three pitchers on the mound you don't know where the ball's coming from they make it entertaining you know it's it's really I'll it's just the entertainment yeah. you know and it's there's another team i i forgot what they're called but they're like monkeys or some shit oh, right? banana, banana, <laughs> yeah <okay>. so <laughs> so they always play each other but they also 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 play these minor minor league teams that are owned by the MLB, MLB. and the they they Is started traveling Oh, shit. Yeah, so the tickets are fucking expensive. Because my son got into it, and he was like, he was even telling me, Dad, I want to sign up, but it was a Savannah banana hat, you know. And yeah, so he's, you know, he had to go away from the college and, you know, the MLB style baseball. And it's pretty much he broke the rules, you know. And created his home his own type of baseball you know you like one of the guys was like a original He's a original. rodeo clown yeah. you know but they they did have some type of baseball background right, right? but they they're entertainers so uh so yeah man so so if you get a chance man check them out on their their youtube channel Shout out to um, yeah, Savannah Bananas. Yeah, man, definitely got to check them out. We never got to throw this on our TikTok because we were talking about Savannah Bananas. Um, they got a big following on TikTok. They're um, they're huge, man. And it, they're, they're fun to watch. You know, it's not your typical baseball game. You, you know, maybe you even like it since, you know, 
you said you'd rather watch, um, you know, House Kitchen. <laughs> kitchen neighbors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> kitchen neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, man, Savannah Bananas. That's a, um, it's, uh, it's fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes like, you know, they'll pop up on on my live on YouTube. Yeah, they're, they're live and some live game. Oh, that's cool. yeah. So, yeah, check that out, man. Savannah. Savannah. Is it better to watch Savannah Bananas or Los Soles de Mexicali? Savannah Bananas. Hey. <laughs> good, good answer. Yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> what is going on? Shit. Oh, we never talked about our, our event we had. Oh, I know. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. I don't remember how I got home, but it was fun. <laughs> Really? Yeah, man. Like drinks. Like I, I was, I was planning to just have beer, maybe one or two, and then uh, I got hooked up with a couple of mixed drinks, and I was just like, with marijuana. Huh? Oh, that one, that one. That's the one that got me. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, shout Looking out to good, Barry. Looking shout out to good. 805, man. Um, yeah. Spot 805. Um, damn, they're doing it in the summer, man. Yeah. For, for them to be doing it in the summer, I, it's crazy. Ha- hands I, down to them. I didn't yeah. think, you know, I mean, it's good, right? They got a phone party coming up, too. Shit. Yeah, man. So, um, party line? They should do an ice cream party. Oh, phone party. <laughs> <laughs> party line. Party line. Party line. <laughs> party line. <laughs> yeah. In room five, you'll find DJ oh, Jedi. Oh. <laughs> in room three, DJ J. Stacy. <laughs> Imagine that's Dude, I don't even have I don't even have WhatsApp. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I know, man. Neither do I. Fuck that. Customers, because dude, we get a lot of customers from Mexicali, right? At work. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 it's the WhatsApp. It's the WhatsApp. Sí. Um, te puedo mandar foto de esta parte que ocupo. Uh, Tienes WhatsApp? Mm, nope. I was just like, nope. Yeah. You know? I was like, I'm not giving you my personal number. Nothing. Personal, right. that's mine. You know, yeah. It's just I like, won't even download Spotify. Wave. Like I just, I can't. I, I don't know. Like the, the a customer tells me, like, hey, I'm gonna send you my Spotify list. You don't send, send it through YouTube or send it through something else. It's just, really? I don't, I don't, I don't have the app on my phone. I, I, I just refuse, refuse because like, <laughs> we're on Spotify. <laughs> because we're on SoundCloud. I know. And I just refuse. It, it, I feel like it would make me a lazy DJ for some reason. I don't know. Well, the podcast is good. Right? No, we're on there, whatever. Right. But like, when it comes to DJing, though, like, I just feel like I don't know. That make me a, la- a lazy DJ. Yeah. I, don't know. I I mean, I won't knock it. Like, it has good like curation and shit like that. But I, I would rather just. Yeah. Apple music. Apple music, yeah. It's funny, you know, yeah, I have I have Spotify on my phone, but dude, I, I hardly ever open it. You know? No, yeah. like I don't have Apple Music, but when we hung out and he plays Apple Music, it's it's yeah. dope, dude. I like it. It is dope. Let's come on like Pandora, because Pandora you, you hit an artist and it'll like eventually, like after the thirtieth time, it'll just it's like they grind. Mm-hmm. Not Apple Music. Never. I mean, I said three seconds. Oh my god. So no. Yeah, Apple Music is time. I pay 12 bucks. It's well worth it, honestly. It keeps you mm. up to date for everything. I got a year deal with uh, Sirius XM for my car. Um, five bucks a month. You know, go Fridays, Saturdays, that fucking Pitbull globalization yeah. channel. The, you love fucking EDM, fucking house, fucking well, dude, that. Music, eh? dude, just sometimes I'm fucking shazammy shit because it's just like so much, crazy, much, good there's good so much crazy shit. And it was like, damn. And it's just like, fuck, fuck, what DJ is this? You know? Because yeah. there's there, there's so many there's so many dope ass DJs out there yeah. that you know. And and I um this guys a lemon on fucking DJ. I respect you know Pitbull Station for you know. Putting these people out there because it's dope, man. Because you're, you're driving, you know, listening, listening to it, and it'll say, you know, oh, DJ so and so from Phoenix, Arizona, or you know, it'll it'll put out where they're at. It's cool, man. There's a lot of a lot 
lot of dope ass DJs, man. A lot. You know, so uh, knowing, knowing us, so our luck is like somewhere down south in California. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, <laughs> my D South Cali. So someone really hot, <laughs> right? But um, yeah, man. Sirius, Sirius is um, it's cool. I wish there was more. Um, there was more podcast on there. Sirius was banging back then. Though. Satellite radio. Shade forty five. Oh, Shade forty five. Yeah. I get to catch um, you know, during the day, not really because I'm you know, busy at work. But I know there's there's some, there's some shows on there like on Shade forty five during the day that um that I've caught like I've left home early or whatever. I'm like, oh shit. There you are. Yeah, yeah, the show's dope, or you know, or whatever the case is. But um, you know, when I do get off of work, if I get off of work right at four o'clock, uh, on Kevin Hart's comedy station, he has um, Straight from the Heart, and um, a lot of different people on there. That's, that's pretty dope to listen to, you know. So, but um, I know you're big on podcasts too, other podcasts. But what are you listening to right now? It's a, it's a mixture, man. Like, still, like, I like Joe Rogan. I like Tom Segura. Um, him and his wife have a podcast together. That shit's funny as hell. And then there's other ones that, like, kind of critique other podcasts, or uh, they give you, like, clips. I'm starting to sound like fucking TikTok and shit. <laughs> you just watch the clips of the clips of the clips. But, yeah, there's, there's a couple of good ones, man. But right now, it's mostly, like, Tom Segura or fucking Joe Rogan. Uh, I don't really listen to like the Breakfast Club no more. I don't know. I just feel like they're phasing out a little bit. Yeah, yeah you know. Um, I used to listen to them religiously, dude. No, dude. Like I, I was at work with my fucking like DJ headphones, fucking <laughs> listening to that shit. Yeah. And I just I don't know. And uh, like Joe Budden here and there, but I feel like it, it kind of changed. It's, it's a different audience now. And uh, yeah, I just I find a couple of random ones out there sometimes. But, uh, yeah, I was for, for a minute there, man. I was, I was stuck on the Ron Burgundy podcast, man. Oh, Dude, really? That, wow. It's uh, it's <laughs> it's uh, it's dry humor. Yeah, you uh, know, you have to, you have to like that type of comedy. You know, Just get one thing. Yeah, but um, <laughs> but yeah, that that when I was listening, you know, he. I think he had Skrillex on there. Yeah, uh, he had, um, yeah, he had to. Oh, the Road Podcast, dude. That, one's that was cool, too. too. Yeah. I like that one. And then uh, but when I stopped watching, dude, like the Rodium, I don't even know if it's still on. It's still on. Yeah. yeah. I stopped watching it. Um, yeah, dude, I, I haven't had really, I mean, I'm, I'm subscribed and, I'm, you know, but I hardly even watch it, too. I've been on been uns- unsubscribed <laughs> uh, and then on Twitch um, the only one I watch still is the Albert Linares he's the the DJ for the UFC he gets down dude okay and what I like about him is like when he's busy like uh, he'll, he'll let his homies go on and use his account and some of them get down too dude it's pretty cool alright um speaking of um podcast uh Let's touch base on No Jumper right quick. Oh, shit. About Adam. I haven't watched that one in a while either, but yeah. have you heard about this crazy fucker? Yeah, did you hear what he did? Adam 22. I say he's on the news right now. Where am I gonna Bro, why? Why would you let your wife get fucked? By somebody I, else, dude. Oh, I think it was like destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was <laughs> Fucking destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> um, Russia and Ukraine. Why would you let that happen? Russia and Ukraine. Go <laughs> I should have changed her name to Arby's way. Just <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, bro. Fucking, um, I don't know. It's just like, I, that's. <laughs> <laughs> what about the way? Well, I mean, I guess because technically he considers himself a porn star, but nah, like. He's doing it for And then me. now now he's talking isn't he talking shit to homeboy that fucked his wife. Yeah. You know. And it's like, bro, like, you signed up for this shit. Yeah. yeah. You know. But honestly, I really don't think he's mad. I think he's just doing it for clicks. I thought so too. Honestly, like, yeah, he's doing it for clout. Yeah, Definitely. Clout. You know. Because if you think about it, because he is he still even the host of No Jumper? I don't even know. I stopped watching it. 
Yeah, I, I did too. I said the last the last episode that I saw, you know, um, um, shout out to my primo Grizz. You know, that's yeah. that's the last episode that I saw. Totally. You know, but you know. they have their own shit too, no? Yeah, as I've seen it. I, um, Donk's World. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, Letty from um, oh um, the the Brown Bag on um, podcast. Yeah, that that one's cool, man. That that's cool with uh, Letty and yeah, it's um, it's a cool podcast. My sister was the one that actually got me onto that podcast. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, man, I think, I think, um, to me, I feel he's not relevant anymore. Jumping back to Adam, and I think, yeah, he's doing it for clicks, doing it for clout. Yeah. You know, it's just like it's just like love and hip hop just on the radio. Yeah. Pretty much, man. And then, like, even Vlad, like, I would watch Vlad more, and now it's like because he has so many people working for him, like. If there's a girl doing the interview, there's this one as she just sounds too annoying. I won't watch it. And then there's there's only one one guy that that he hired that I'll listen to. Um, but other than that, if it's not Vlad, like I don't want I don't want to hear the interview. I'm sorry, it's just that's my preference. Yeah. No, he did because you know I mean it's called Vlad TV, bro. Yeah. You know it's like you're listening to you and you're watching because it's Vlad. You know, one of one of my one of my very favorite, I would say favorite um, episodes of of who he interviewed was Danny Trejo, bro. Oh yeah, that, was that, good. that one was one of my favorites. You know, and how we talked about fucking Edward James Olmos and oh, yeah. you know the mafia and everything, bro. Shit. Yeah, man, he yeah he he, he definitely no joke. he went in and he talked about it, man. You know, so um, yeah, me personally, I, that was that was one of my favorites with um, on Black TV. You know, but um, but yeah, I think um, right now, man, I, I listen to straight from the heart. You know, I would, like uh, I don't think there's any more episodes of um, the Rob Burgundy podcast, but dude, that that shit was funny, man. You know, hey, you know, at first you didn't even run Jeremy. I oh, know. Didn't run Jeremy. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, shit. Kind of straight from prison. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! But um, but yeah, man. Like, you know, yeah. you listen to any podcasts, bro? What's that? Oh, that's what's up, man. Oh, I appreciate like that. that. Answer, I was waiting for that answer. Yeah. I was like, you better say us. Yeah, <laughs> I don't listen to the shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, hey, uh, you know, there's times. I'm gonna lie, go back and I look at the old stuff that we did. Why? Uh, Why? <laughs> Cause the oh, one, of, one no, one uh, of my favorites. One of my favorites, bro, uh, is when B Dot was part of the show. Oh man, I miss it. And um, she's doing the B Dot B Dot rundown, oh. and she's yeah, and she's she's doing the uh the clip where um. R. Kelly oh, getting interviews. Nice. Oh, so, I'm a man that loves all women. I'm a man that loves. And she just starts dancing, bro. And it's just like, every time, man, it just fucking makes me laugh, dude. That's funny. Yeah, she was, um, she was definitely a good plug to the show, bro. Yeah. She was. But, um, but yeah, man. Be that wherever you're at. Shout out to you. Yeah, I um, wish you were. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, man. Um, we're definitely, you know, like I said, we kind of fell off for a couple months. This yeah. happens all the time, but nah, it does. We'll be more consistent. Yeah, and you know, it's not due to you know that we don't want to do it. It's just due to personal things that go on in our life. No, nah, it's because we're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, man. hey, bro, we're gonna film this. Nah, I'm too tired. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> like if he goes outside, he's fine. If we go outside, we're melting. <laughs> you smell my dick <laughs> off. Oh, <laughs> <smell> my dick. <laughs> Oh, oh fuck! But uh, but yeah, man. Um, definitely. Um, you know, shit, if you guys have any ideas and what we should do on the podcast, or have or, someone that should be on the podcast. Yeah, you know, it's just, we definitely uh, need to get. Oh, man, nice. we just had we had people lined up. Oh man, that was fun. Yeah, I guess now we'll have to go to a baseball game and see how I know. this guy does. Yeah, see if he falls asleep. <laughs> see if he falls asleep. Falls asleep with we'll a fucking I'll popcorn at him. Bar. I'll see you at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> we can watch the game from the bar. Yeah, but, they could be like, "Then why go?" I was like, oh, God. Yeah, so it's, it's 
It's different. <laughs> it's different if you're there watching the game. You have you to pay 20 bucks for a hot dog. That's that's what it is. <laughs> and 25 bucks for a beer. Uh, exactly. I don't love beer. Either. That's that's what kills me right there. Yeah. And if it's, it's so important, expensive. <laughs> you forget it. Just for a beer, guy. One beer will get you a 30 pack easy. That's what we used to drink in the parking lot, bro. Yeah. Free game all the damn time. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, man. We didn't even introduce the homie. I know. Irving. Yeah. With the last dope podcast, I'm DJ J Steezy. Uh, I forgot my tagline. Yeah. Where were my manners? Uh, ah, the Homer Irving. <laughs> the Homer Irving. DJ Jedi. Thank, thanks for dropping through, man. And, uh, that was cool having you on, bro. That's yeah. Cool. All right. Let's go to Max.